What is up guys? I'm Daddy Gamer Fred and welcome back to another Fortnite guide video. In today's video, I'm going to be going over the locations of the two new NPCs inside of Fortnite Chapter 2 Season 8. Today is October 12th, 2021 and we just got a update this morning that added a ton of Halloween stuff, including two Halloween NPCs. So if you jump over to Quest and punch cards, you can see here that they added two new ones, the Dyer and Ragzi, to the game as far as more quests that we can do into this season. So let's jump in and see exactly where these characters are. And yes, I know you can pin the map and it will show you exactly where they at, but I actually like going in game and showing you guys exactly where they are in the match so let's jump in and check out dire first and then we can check out raz i think that's how you say it, right ragzy ragzy so let's let's check out where dire is at okay so because these npcs just launched today i do have to put out the warning that they're probably going to be a hot drop a lot of people are going to try to add these npcs to their collections and that is going to cause a mass kabuffle at these drop locations. Camp Cod is not a hugely popular drop spot because it's at the edge of the map and players like to drop around the middle so they can be closer to zone. But again, Camp Cod, the, the zone never really, I've never been in a match where it was ending at Camp Cod. Anyway. But it's not a hugely popular zone. Usually noobs go there so they could you know loot up and private and then make their way up the map but again it's not a hugely popular zone especially with caddy corner and misty meadows being popular zones to land at i and it's just technically in between i wouldn't land here for the simple fact that it's just it's not practical you're going upstream yes the blue cube is here it hasn't moved but it, it still again isn't an ideal place to start the match but this is where Dyer's at let's land here let's check him out in game see what he's doing see his werewolf activities here and he is outside chilling like a villain right next to the electronical stuff and outside where where i forget the guy's name um uh jonesy the the, the first jonesy the the one that got stuck in the thing used to be he used to be here like a few seasons ago before he moved to down the map he used to have like a hidden bunker down here in the bunker is still here just for people wondering you hit under here find like a little place sometimes the chest spawns down here but nothing nothing right now Okay, so the next new NPC, or the second, no, the last one, is at Retail Row. So let's drop down and interact with it, add it to our collection, and see exactly where it's at on the map. It's here. This is where it's ping next to the cubes and, and inside of Retail Row, looks like. Maybe outside. Let's see. Looks like I have some competition. Are they here? Yep, exactly here inside of retail, but outside of the houses and all that, they're not inside. So cool. And you can buy a pump shotgun from them. So that's good. And what's the odds? I get a. Uh, uh aim bot was dead oh my god i got killed by a bot but i blasted him with a headshot from 84 and i got stuck between him and the tree and he just knocked me easily now that's going to be the end of today's video let me know in the comment section below your thoughts of these two locations for these brand new npcs i think it's pretty cool I do not like Dyer's location because, it, again, it's in Camp Cod and it's really far off the map. However, I did figure they were going to throw somebody in that location due to the fact that it is, you know, a 
it's a spot on the map and they need to throw at the NPCs somewhere. However, they do feel kind of random. It doesn't feel like the spots they are at are basically tied to the character. But let me know what you think about these two being added to the game as NPC characters in the comment section below. Like always, guys, I ain't told comments, so let's have that conversation down there. If you're new around here, consider hitting that subscribe button. I do videos like this every day, talking Fortnite, Call of Duty, Pokemon, Mario, wherever I feel like dropping the vibes on, I drop it here on the channel. So again, consider hitting that subscribe button. Also, hit the like button. It does help me out a ton as far as moving the videos into recommended so other people can check out the videos. Peace. I love you guys. I'm going to see you guys on the next one. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for making it to the end of this video. If you're not a subscriber and you made it this far, hit that subscribe button. You know you want to join the family, ring the bell so you can be notified on the next time I drop one of my videos, as well as hit the like button on this video so it could be recommended so more people can check it out so we can have more people join in the family. If you want to keep up with me on other social media platforms such as Twitter, Instagram, or TikTok, or whatever, I'm Daddy Gamer Fred on all of those. Again, Daddy Gamer Fred, you'll be able to find all those links in the description of this video and the pin tweet comment on my Twitter. Also on all of my videos, I do answer all comments. So again, if you just want to chat it up about the video or anything, just hit me up in the comment section below. I take time out of my day and literally answer to all the comments that you guys leave me and I love it. And again, let's have that conversation down there. Here are a couple of suggested videos that you guys should check out that may be of your interest. I am a variety channel. I do tons of stuff, tons of Pokemon, but tons of other stuff as well. So dive into these videos. Peace. I love you guys. I'm going to see you guys on the next one.